Hello, it's Andy Graham of uh, Hobo Traveler, um, and I have different websites. I'm a, I am have the Ask Andy Show, and uh, a person. Uh, I also have a website called My Sosua, which is Sosua Dominican Republic. I'm presently in Vilcabamba, Ecuador, but. Uh, Thomas M. asks, Hi Andy, I watch your videos, very educational and informative. Well, the reason for these emails, since you spend a lot of time in the DR, the Public, Dominican Republic, uh, Republican, uh, Republica Dominica, Dominican Republic, I was wondering if you ha know any attorneys in DR that could help me attain resident card in Sicily, since I plan to move in to Sosua DR in 2015. Thank you, keep up, good, uh, good job, sincerely, Thomas D. Um, okay, um, I don't know any attorneys in Ansosu in the uh, Dominican Republic. Um, I will tell you the best way to find an attorney is to probably make the application there. Uh, if you're going to go there, find an attorney, then make the application on site. Um, somebody was talking to me the other day about a visa here, and he was he said, Get, "You call up an attorney that's in the DR, and then ask him for all the information." Um, I really, though, have decided that uh, I'm not promoting Sosu, and I'm actually discouraging. I consider it one of the most dangerous places I've ever been. Um, and the signal, and the reason why I say that, it's not just idle thing here. It's, Every time I go there, like the last time I was there, there was some German that was cut up and they put him in a 55-gallon five, barrel and, and uh, stuffed him in there, then somebody found him in the garage, right? Every time I go there, there's either one or two people killed. So in a, in a month or two of time, there'll be like averaging one gringo, one foreigner, getting killed per month. And then there's like... Uh, incredible it's got one of the highest levels of car accident deaths on the planet uh, but the, the real thing is is that the country is just so corrupt I have decided that I will never go there again in my life and the reason is is that it's just you shouldn't have to sit and worry about uh, uncontrollable uh, types of violence now, when I say uncontrollable the police are violent there the police are dangerous the other gringos are dangerous the other foreigners, everybody you meet, the girls, there's so many prostitutes there that are trying to entrap men, and they work with the police. It's just a dangerous place to go to. And I don't care if you're a tourist or whatever, this place is an unacceptable. Until the DR stands up, mans up, and they stop whitewashing this stuff from the world press, uh, you can you can do Google searches. You'll find out that the uh, Dominican Republic is considered one of the most dangerous places to travel on the planet, and they wipe it out. And everybody acts like somehow it's Caribbean, therefore it's nice, or whatever. Haiti. I went to Haiti, spent a month in Haiti, and I consider Haiti five times safer than the Dominican Republic. Uh, they have guns there. It just goes on. So I really don't want to encourage you to to go there. And planning ahead for the 215, and you really this residency visa shouldn't be something you even worry about until you live there for a year. And the, the VR is really ridiculous. You can just stay overstay your visa forever. You can stay there for a year and then just pay them like, I don't know, so much. Yes, it doesn't, it's not that much money. You can just stay there forever. Why would you be worrying about that while you're in the United States? Um, you, you know, they, they got this really nice policy about overstay. You just stay, and I think you have to, you stay three or four months over, you, you pay $30. It's not onerous. It's not difficult. You don't need that residence visa in the cedula unless you want to start a business and pay bribes to the police. And the police there, every single day I'm in, in Sosua, I would hear police. Now, why don't I talk about this when I'm in there? One thing, I'm, it's very dangerous while in country to talk badly about a country. Uh, it's, that's a very dangerous country. A corruption goes... You know, they don't want anybody to say that this place is corrupt. So, and, and I also have my mother that watches my videos. And I don't, my mother and father, they would watch my videos. And I don't really want them afraid for my life. Now, I'm not worried because I don't, uh, you know, the best way to stay safe is you don't go out after 11 o'clock at night. But uh, it was, I, I had people threaten my life. I, I made a video of a, of a restaurant and a gringo, a Greek guy, threatened my life for just saying that the, the uh, breakfast tasted like fish because they cooked the oil in the fish. They just, it's just not a safe country. And so we're probably going to do something with my Sosu and we're going to get rid of our, we have a couple websites and uh, we've got a hundred places to hang out. 
but I've decided to switch them out. I'm probably going to go to one in Bulgaria, and we're going to take that one and put it into storage in a way. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe the country will decide to fess up to the fact that they're, they're corrupt, and they, the international press. What needs to happen is the New York Times needs to have a half-page article on this country as being one of the most dangerous countries. That would give them a wake-up call. Uh, the, the tourist industry is blocking it. And if you don't realize it, all the advertisements and all this stuff pay for the news, okay? So they basically buy it. But it's a, it's a place not to go. But you don't need your residency visa until after you've been in the country for a year. So I, I, I don't know what you're worried about. You really... You, you know, you guys sit on the computer and you think about stuff, and then you you get into one of these websites and everything. You know, they're 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 advertisements on wheels. They're just always advertising to buy something. Okay, Andy Graham, hobo traveler in Vilcabamba, uh, uh, Ecuador, trying to explain about the Dominican Republic, Sosua, or any of the places. Not it's it's unacceptable travel place. It's too too dangerous for anybody on the planet. We can